B, that we, the ones who haven't had COVID yet, are genetically superior. Or could it just be that you're lucky? And microbiologist Dr Susie Wiles is here now. Great to see you again, Susie. Now tell us, why is it that some people get COVID and others don't? It's probably quite a complicated mix of reasons. Um, so we know that, you know, people uh, respond differently to vaccination. So there's certainly some people who've been vaccinated who've got it and others who haven't. Uh, we also know um, that it's about exposure too, right? So uh, depending on how much people are exposed and, you know, how well people are wearing masks and those kinds of things, that will also impact on whether somebody gets COVID or not. And do your genes play a role in not catching COVID? That's a really great question. And actually, most of the studies that have been done have looked at the um, impact of our genes on how severe COVID is. So taking people who've been hospitalized or people who've just had a mild infection and comparing those. And there certainly does look like there's a genetic aspect to that. But there really isn't very much at the moment looking at um, the genes of people who haven't had it yet compared to uh, people who have. And what about families living together where some get COVID and others manage to dodge it? Actually, so this is where we're finding out some really interesting uh, stuff about that. So there's been a, a really good household contact study done in the UK, and they took blood from people um, who were contacts. Uh, half of them got COVID and half of them didn't. And it looks like the reason that the people didn't get COVID is because they had what we call uh, cross-reactive T cells. So they basically have these um, important uh, cells in their body that have responded to having a previous um, coronavirus infection, like, a, like the common cold coronavirus. And so it looks like maybe that's what protects them. Um, and actually, this has real implications for our vaccines, because at the moment, the vaccines are, are designed to, against the spike protein of the particular COVID virus. But actually, maybe we should be designing vaccines that are towards the other proteins that are shared with those um, cold viruses. That is fascinating. But I think the takeaway I'm getting from this interview, Susie, is that because I haven't had COVID and Jeremy has had COVID, I cannot claim to be genetically superior. Um, no, but maybe you've just had more colds in the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. Lovely to talk to you. Thanks, Susie. Thanks. <laughs>